I want to hear from all the PVP. <laughs> it's my daddy. Oh, huh? Okay, we're looking for the definition of dating from the perspective of a guy and from the perspective of a girl. Okay, so you're dating, you're in college, freshman year to oh. soft, senior year, whatever you're. I wouldn't recommend in. that. But in college, yes, in college. I'm not I'm not in college. Okay, so outside of in your space in life that you're in, what is your definition of dating? So, if PB side, if y'all not locked in, anybody is free game. Man. <laughs> he not wrong. Like, free game. Oh, that, that's it. He not wrong. <laughs> free game. You Three PB. Like, Three really, PB. really how it goes is, you be chilling, and, like, you could be, like, eating at the MNC or, like, walking or something. Mm -hmm. And, like, as a guy, I've seen my female friends, they be, like, the dude to walk up, what's your name? Woot, 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 woot. Get the information. All right. Within the week, it's, like. Okay, but what makes y'all lock in? That's what two people have to agree on. Okay. But, I mean, right. two people can agree, but one person might not necessarily, like, yeah, just fully, agree. fully Yeah, agree. it has to be saying. verbally said by both parties, right? Like, not even that. Not even oh, that. Oh, that's what that's Yeah, it's, yeah. That's what I was just going to say. See, it's really different. like a mindset because, like, you can say, like, yeah, like, you know, we're on the same page. Nah, but if you really not I feeling, like, on the same page for real, then, you know? Not for real. Actually, love her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They said like, oh, we together, but I just like with her. But your actions are like, mm. But I'm talking about you run across some, you run across some like females and some guys who are really confident. They like at the end of the day, I know where she gonna be or I know where he gonna be. So. Yeah, like, I know where home is type mentality. <laughs> and so, what do you want? Like, do you want? To be dating or like not locked in or locked in, like you want to be tied. Hold on, hold on. Kim's saying something. Go ahead, Kim. It really depends on like where you're at, like mm -hmm. the location and then like your mental space for yourself. Yeah, awesome. you know, or really, if you should yeah. be in a relationship or not. Like, so they want that fluidity. Like you don't want to be locked in because you want to be able to say, "I want to." No, that's not what I want. No, 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 not that. Oh, I was just saying, like, just as a, in a general sense, like, right. yeah, like, I don't think that really anyone wants to be locked in the way that people are saying they want to be locked in. Somebody could say, like, oh, I want this, I want that, but they don't show that. They don't ever, they don't ever, like, show their commitment in anything else. Like, you can't even go to class consistently, but you are saying that mm. you are consistent, like you can consistently care for somebody else. That's not how that works. Hey, Jenny, that's what I'm saying. She's oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's to learn, but I just, I just think like if you're not, if you can't confidently do it for yourself, like how are you like confidently doing it for someone else? Yeah. I think it, I think a lot of times people get into relationships and it just sets them up to be like hurt. Mm -hmm. And then you turn around and you're like, oh my gosh, like everyone, everyone my age just sucks. Like, there's no like dating pool, and it's like because you weren't ready to be in that relationship in the first place. You set yourself up to be in a in a bad position on your own. And of course, like you can't like account for everyone's actions, but it's, you can account for your own. So if you get into a relationship knowing that you have a very insecure attachment style, you have a very insecure like. You, you're very, how do I say this? You need so much validation to where it's like mm, exhausting. Then, oh. I'm not. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, it was giving like the grown version of album. Yes, giving them the education of college dating. Yes. Also, also, yeah, was was like this go ahead, Kim. Go ahead. Don't worry. There's don't different worry. types of relationships, right? Mm -hmm. There are. So, talk to me, King. You tell me what types are. We are grown. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 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 like I said, we are grown. We know there's different, you know what I'm saying? There's relationships where, you know what I'm saying? Each relationship you have with somebody can bring you something different. Yeah. So you just gotta, you just gotta think what you and that person have to be, to like build with each other. And then like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all vibe out with that. But a lot of times, what I realize is like, maybe it's just me speaking, but a lot of like, women are very like, needy. Mm. Hey. But it's in the sense. Right. Right. No, 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 no. It's in the sense. It's in the sense. Let us speak. Let us speak. I really want to hear. It's in the sense 
So where it's like, what y'all need isn't necessarily <laughs> something that you're going to get from a guy. It's something that you have to be confident in within yourself. Mm. That's not good. No, because like some people be like, oh, they think they're not pretty, so they ask the guy to like, am I pretty? Am I cute? They seek other men for validation. Okay. Because they think themselves, they think, oh, I'm not cute. That I I get you. That's a good point. But then, but then women also want commitment. I think that girls may be like in a more mature in this stage, and they're like, okay, we want you to be the only one. We want you to, you know, make sure that it's just me and you, and you're not ready to be just me and you because you are still dating. So it's like, I want to know what what time frame do you think you'd be like? Okay, I'm ready to wrap it up. This is the one, like me and me and this one person. And I'm it's, if it's not today or if it's not like tomorrow, or whatever, in the next four years, that's fine. But what is what do you think that that time frame would be? And then you know? in addition to that, if you're dating a person, are you being honest and intentional with them and letting them know? Listen, hmm. I like you. Yeah. You might even be marriage material, but just not today, tomorrow, or next year. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because she may be ready to do that, but you're not. And so now she's dating with intention and you're dating to have fun. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or well, he's dating good. with intention and she's and dating. Because she let's keep it 100. Like, 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 the women can do it too. Yes, that is. And if it's 30, it's 30. If it's 25, it's 25. But are you being honest about right. that? I'll just keep it booked. I'll be like, look, man. Oh, okay. I don't know. Here's, but, here's, but here's the thing. Here's what I will say though. Here's the thing, because guys do this a lot of times. We say we keep it a buck, but then we, but we know the other person. If we get to a place where we got to tell you, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you, right? I, like I want you to know, I'm. But we know them. They're locked in by now. We already got their emotions by now. So it's irresponsible of us to continue in the same action, saying, "Hey." I kept it a buck with you, right. so we're going to keep doing whatever we was doing yeah. that got you thinking that it was going to be something, yep. mm-hmm. and I'm just going to talk my way out of it, but I'm not going to consider your emotions as I'm doing it, mm-hmm. because they might not be emotionally strong enough to detach right. themselves because of the decision that you are making right. in that moment, so but they you know, already locked in. They locked in, which is why you, know you get to the point where it's like, I'm going to keep it a stack with yeah. you, you here, but I'm not there, Yeah. right? And so we think that that's cute right. because we still got somebody to... Lay next to and do whatever we want with, right? But you hurt people in the process of doing that kind of stuff. So I feel like being, you know, I feel like you know me, I'm a pretty good guy. So <laughs> me being the good guy, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, on, that was so rude. Nah, that was so rude. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, but can we just be honest? Like, by no, you saying no, that you don't feel that you're a very good guy? Are you crazy? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm <laughs> <laughs> What what I'm hearing is when you said, okay, I'm a really good guy, right? Mm -hmm. That to me tells me that you don't don't necessarily that your actions may not always be a very good guy. You know what I do you do you do you like I'm not explaining it as as well as I can and you could probably explain it better. (laughs) But what I'm saying is like you you I think that you feel that you could be a better dater or a better guy to some people that you have been. Cause you, if you have to say that out loud, if you led with, I'm a good guy. guy. The reason, the reason I said it is because, like, go ahead. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I've been told. So it's like a lot of times, me just being a good guy, me treating a uh, lady how she should be treated. Since girls don't really see that a lot. What is that to you? Right. What how, you mean? Yeah. What is, what is that to you? How should a girl be treated? <laughs> <laughs> how should a girl be treated? I mean. In your opinion. It depends on what type of relationship we so have. Say your friends so like, girl. If how we, do you treat her? If we just friends, you know, I check on her, make sure she's straight. You know what I'm saying? If I got her back, she got my back. Same just thing. friends. Just friends. If our friends are benefits, how do you feel? If it's friends with benefits, then I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Damn. Hey, I went, you know what I'm saying? You might not like this, but I went and seen so and so. Oh, you would tell her? Yes. Oh, that's well, what? Well, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, listen, listen. Just because just because you're friends, friends with benefits, tell me if y'all both, if y'all friends, friends with benefits and y'all know y'all must love people, it would make sense to tell because oh, wow. okay. the stuff well, I go through, well, no, that's true. That's, 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 that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Stuff, stuff can spread. It <laughs> might not be intentionally. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's very responsible. But do you feel like a girl that's your friendship benefits with, you feel like she, you all heard that level of communication, like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this for so-and-so, 
and then I'm doing this with you too? I mean, yes, because I would be mad if she went and did whoop the whoop, didn't tell me, then came to my career. Like, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. It's, mm -hmm. it's responsible. I think that's. But what if she went and did whoop the whoop, told you? What, how would you feel about that? I'd be like, go home, clean yourself up, and then pull up. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. oh. All right. No way. I feel like you kept it like PG. I mean, it was that was, funny. That's what it's like, no, no, no. I, I totally that's get it. And I, I straight up it makes that sense. you asked me. Turn the thought is like a following. Like a follow. Take care of yourself, man. Like a like follow. Like and what I'm just saying is that it's not coming tomorrow. It don't even got to be the same day. It don't even have to be the same day. Don't take a shower. But the general statement within the conversation will be okay if you want to pull up to my crib. Take care of yourself and then pull up. I have a Sorry. question. Wow. And you're not you're not in this phase in your life, but would you want to marry her? Mm, that's good. No, the answer is like, no. No, no, no. I wouldn't no, think about it. Okay, it. Most of them, they just be on like, they be on go. It's like, you, if you that, you yeah. need So you know they on go. You like, okay, so clean up, do whatever. Because you already, I, you already know what she yeah. is on. This is already like a Okay. I've always wondered about the purity level for men. <laughs> 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 we, we, we have no purity like no that. We're 12, 13, 14 years old, and that's kind of going out the door. We're yeah. not even thinking about oh staying God. pure yeah. right, on that type of level. Mm. Um, I guess my kind of my question would be, what's y'all's thought on that? Staying pure for yourself, for your relationship, mm. for, your wife. for your wife, for your future relationship. What, yes, what would, for your relationship with God, what would be yes, your yes. mindset on that? And why is your mindset different than if it is? Can I right. interject Go for a moment? Girl. I think it's, so for girls, we push y'all so hard. Yeah. Yeah. So be hard. pure. Don't yeah. have sex until you get married. Yeah. Don't do this, don't do that. And I don't think that same message, is going I could be wrong, is, is taught. And I, I'm a mom of a, of a son, of a boy. <laughs> but I didn't preach that message of, hey girls, like, you know, don't do this, don't do that, mm -hmm. right? It was a total different conversation. It was a totally conversation different conversation because yeah. I knew that you were having other conversations with other guys at school and y'all comparing this and y'all were doing this and y'all were doing that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, come on in. Hey girl. I think that's a, a, I love this question because I really want to know, like, what is the difference? And do y'all feel like there's a difference um, between guys and girls conversations. The way I was raised, I can't speak for everybody else, the way I was raised, it was a self-control thing. Yep. So like when it comes to like, you talk to a girl and y'all get to that point of y'all's relationship where y'all, you know what I'm saying, y'all get some late night texts without talking about it. Right. It's a self-control thing where you gotta be like, I value myself and my mm -hmm. relationship That's that I built with God to where I'm not gonna do that with you. Even though how cool you may be, I'm not gonna get to that point where I'm gonna put what I was taught or my morals in jeopardy just because of how you talk or the way we, or the bond we got going on. But that's just the way I was raised, is to have self control in whatever relationship you have to put that to the side until it's the right time or at least to you mix it. You start to see distinctions between it's gonna sound crazy, but here we are. It, like you can see distinctions between guys who who get it and guys who don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't wanna be like the guys who don't get it because you know that the girls can see that too. Like they can sense he don't get none. Mm. And I don't want to be like the guy who don't get none. Oh, right? It's not even a weird though. It's an attitude. It's an attitude. It's like a way of... It's so much you can get none, but you don't have to be a weirdo. That's why, yeah. I'm, that's why I'm coming That's why I'm coming to. I'm trying to figure the out... They, the way they come yeah. off, it's just like... Rah! How do, how do, how do we... How do we then... Keep the swag well, that we want to have no, without compromising. It's really a I, I think, thing. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's like the confidence that you have like, within yourself to understand, like, hey, like, even though, like, I can go, I can go out and get, like, some if I want to, yeah. I know that I don't have to go out and get that. It's that confidence to know that, hey, look, like, I know that this girl here, like, I may go over or whatever, like, it may be cool and she may throw herself at me, but I know that like, I can get it at any time. But I'm gonna hold myself to the standard and be like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't. And it's that confidence that you have within yourself. Like for some people, they don't really build that confidence, and they learn it late in life, yeah. and it ends up messing them up because they realize, dang, I'm like doing all this life for going through chasing, like, yes, chasing women, trying to like prove myself to them. But in reality, like if I understand who I am, mm -hmm. like as a man, as a, as myself, like within God, if I know who I, who I am in that sense. But even like some people that aren't don't have a relationship with God, that confidence that you have within yourself to be able to do that is what matters. So I think that level of 
what to your what point, like, up. it's you're right. Like, to an extent, you can tell, like, okay, this guy got it, he gets it, and then other guys don't have it, you know what I'm saying? But no to your, like, to counter your point, you can also tell the guys that, like, still get it, but but got it up here. Like, you not, or, like, getting it physically, like, you have something up here that is way different, like you're a, you're a husband, in the same way that, that a man could walk past and be like, that's a wife. Right. Like that's I can right. walk past you and say, that's, that's a husband, you know what I mean? Right. And for, in your case, necessarily, I can tell that you got it. But like, but, and I say that like I'm joking, but like for real, like it's, you have a swag about you and you, for anybody else, you, you could look at somebody and say, oh, you have a swag, but you also have it up here. You know what I'm saying? And it's different than me walking past another guy that's like, okay, yeah, you got it, you got all these girls, da 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 da, da. but you, you texting the next girl, or you, you're, you got a, I got it, I'm gonna get it mentality, you have it up here, like, you have a whole different yeah, no. thing about you, so... Yeah. Like I get that. And sometimes you see that, like, in co you can see that in people in college. You yeah. can see that in people in right. beforehand or whatever. It's, it's a mind mm -hmm. thing. I just think that guys, as guys, we got to be more intentional about communicating what you're saying, Kendall. Because yeah. yeah. I don't think we do that. I think we got you. We got Jaden that believe that way, that live that way, but we don't hear that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's so it's answer. just, it's in y'all. But the masses of guys that's around y'all are thinking the other way, yeah. right? Yeah. So we gotta we gotta impact the culture, we gotta influence the culture, yes. even on our campuses to be like, yo, yo, you got something, you going somewhere, like I know, I see it too, but you don't have to do that right now. Like we on something, we on a different type of time, yeah. but y'all have to be the ones to communicate that. It can't be a Pastor Al or Mr. Jamal or whoever else that, oh that's dad or that's granddad, or we expect him to talk like that. It gotta be from like Mm. My boy, you know what I'm saying? Opinion. And I know with yeah. me, my boys, we was all we was all jacked up. Like we was all so nobody was saying, let's not do this. So y'all are blessed to say, let's not do this. And then y'all can influence the other ones around you to say, let's not do this. That's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, good. Do you find it difficult to have those type of conversations with your friends? Oh no. I no. say yes and no. Cause like just some you can tell your friend, hey, like what you doing really you should you shouldn't be doing like you you try to you try to help them basically, and they had they're like, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not gonna actually go home and do what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So it's really it's a balance. You gotta really when you tell when you talk to your friends, you can really know like what they really listen to or if they're not. And it's just a it's a maturity thing if they take what you with like the advice that you give them, they really gonna apply it. So I say yes or no. I say you can really only help the people that won't help. Because as someone who also attends PB. <laughs> uh, like even even in my friend group itself, like uh, being someone that dated for a good little bit, when I got single, some of my friends was like, "So when you making moves?" And I was like, "I ain't, that's not my intention. That's not something I'm worried about. Because for me and my." It's gonna come. You know, the right one will find me when time. You're gonna have seasons where you give more, right? Mm -hmm. Depending on what you're dealing with, what you're going through. In this season, if they take it more from you than you are giving to them, then I don't know if that that that's not a good relationship to be in. You got grades you need to consider. You got stuff at home that you're dealing with. You you got your own emotional, mental, physical stuff that you got to deal with. So if this person is always taken from you. Yeah then you, you got to be able to count the cost in each relationship that you have, right? Unless it's family, and even family, sometimes you got to have a hard come to Jesus moment with them. But like with, with like all these college people, it's like high school people. You know, when you get into elementary school, that's my best friend. We're going to be best friends for life. You get to middle school, you got another best friend. You get to high school, you got a different best friend. You get to college, you think these people, you're going to be with them for life. You're probably not. You're probably not. So, I mean, you might feel that way in a moment, but in the grand scheme of life, you're going to be like, wow. Like, if, if all of us who've been through college can name, some of us keep in touch with the roommate that we had, maybe. Right. Some of us keep in touch with that person we was on a team with, maybe. That person that we was in study group with, maybe. But nine times out of ten, no. Right? And that's just the way that life goes. So when you're in the moment, you're like, I need to give so much energy. I need to give so much attention. And other things fall by the wayside. And then five years, ten years down the line, you're like, man. I kind of wasted that season on this individual. I don't even have a phone number. I can't even remember their name. Mm, wow. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, we've been together almost 30 years, but a part of that time, it wasn't it wasn't gravy. Don't count. Why are you counting? Why are you counting? Listen, he's about to get kicked out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was just trying to get So just be careful about like who you you know like latch on to and and decide that you want to be with this person for forever. Or who it may you work latch out. On to you. Right. It may work yeah. out because there there are some relationships that do last, mm-hmm. and you were dating since you were 19, 20 years old. Or you've given this person six, seven years of your life, mm. and yeah. there's nothing there. Yeah. It's okay. I hope so, I'm yes, to your I encourage you. Yeah. Yeah. Strongly yeah. encourage you. Yeah. Unless, yeah. unless God tell you this is the one. Right. Exactly. Unless He tells you, you know, like settle down, like do this, do that, yeah. give you explicit instructions that this is the person yeah. that He has for you. Every rule, I promise you, there's an exception yeah. to every rule, yeah, but just, for the majority, yeah. just yeah. make sure you're listening to God when you're dating. What does kissing frogs look like? Kissing frogs looks like I might talk to somebody on Monday night, then we're going to somebody else I'm going to the movies with on Wednesday night, Friday night we're going to... And the females who definitely have roster. If I have a roster and a female that's on that roster has a roster herself, okay, that's fine. Do you? I'm just saying, if if you want to lock in with that one with somebody, you gotta let that roster go. Michael, Michael was like, "Whoa, that's so many in a week. Three in a week. Y'all do that. I'm not saying y'all. A lot of guys they date multiple women in a week." Wait, so then, okay, so so then, if you say uh, guys date multiple women in a week, then what is the definition of dating like? That that's you feel like I, is the definition. I, I want to know. That's, I, that's, that's dating. Yeah, dating, 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 dating in our generation means like, so if you're dating someone, that's it's you and him or you and her. That's okay. Yeah, y'all talking. Okay. Yeah, that's a relationship. Talk, I don't, or, or hanging out, just hanging out, maybe. Okay. I don't know. Hanging out. I'm gonna get crucified, so I say. Yeah, because talking, I don't know that. Because talking stage is so dumb. Like, boo, we, I don't believe. Boo on our part, we shouldn't make pressure. Right. I feel like if you're, you feel like if you're talking to somebody, that's it. That's what I'm talking to talking to. I just feel like wait. So what's up? That's still the dating stage. I'm not saying. I feel like if we both have expressed interest in each other, and we both trying to, if if it's understood that we're both trying to pursue a relationship, why do I need to? Look elsewhere. If I if I if I'm talking to you, I'm liking the way you look and I'm liking the way you thinking. Mm, mm, you liking the same preach. thing about me. Preach. What? There's no there's no reason for me to look elsewhere. Sir. I like what he's saying. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. I'm locked in with you. Almost you should be locked in with me. But that that's a conversation that needs to be had. That, I'm always I'm always about communication. You have to have a time in which you are kind of looking around to know exactly and that's what, what you're I'm like. saying. Yeah, yeah. have time to be like exactly. have time to like explore, explore in the yeah, what you like, what you, what you, like, like. What you dislike. Yeah. So, okay. I don't know, you was good. Like we respected your honesty. Like if you gonna be with somebody, be with that person. Right. Great. Cut off the other people. Don't be a hoe. Yes. If you are gonna be a hoe, yes. let them know I'm a hoe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> If your emotions are caught up in this dude and your feelings are caught up in this dude, all of a sudden violence can come out real quick. So when I tell you girls will chase you down, they will they know where you live, they know where you live. Every girl that you see in the club, they gonna chase you down. Like they gonna chase you down. Like they gonna chase you down. Like they gonna chase you down. That, that was my freshman year. They yeah. was in the UC talking about that. It was a big old fight. About and, and one girl, one girl, one dude, he told a girl he was gonna pay her some honey buns to get up. <laughs> <laughs> and then so so it was, so a, it was No, because they did fight over there. They fought. And then and then the girl the, the, to fight the girl. Oh, okay. So oh, then, oh, then oh, the girl oh, 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 o
So then the girl, the girl, listen, 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 listen. The girl that was supposed, the girl that was supposed to get your, that was supposed to get the honey buns got whooped. So the girl that whooped her was like, yeah, go get your honey buns now, you big. Yeah, it was funny, bro. It was, it was all on Instagram. All of us fighting Because the dude, the dude, the dude was like, he was a, he, he had like a girlfriend, but he was cheating on her. But like the girl was really the dude. Wait, so they fought over him. Basically, but he had no, no, no. He had they didn't fight. She don't. They didn't fight. The girl that fought the girl really didn't have nothing to do with him. They was just cool. And he was like, I can't fight the girl because she, man, she put she put sneaky notes and peanut butter on dude car. She stri silly stringed this car. She slashed his tire the front crazy. left and the back right, so he couldn't. <laughs> <do it. laughs> she got a, like she had like a, a business. And he and dropped what's like crazy? TikTok, he dropped the yeah, And I know them tires was like. Like why not? Yeah, like too. let's make it happen. Sure. Right. Stuff? He said I'm hurt. But that's that was also thing. saying, listen, I, I, I got <laughs> somebody that's interested. So what now? I did. That's why oh, I'm saying. Don't be in a picture. Were those my cargos in your truck? Did you want to go? Oh, that's the picture. Hey, look, look, look. Look at this. Look at the best dick in my face. He's hard. Bye, have a great time.